I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful, bright day out there. But it is a little bit windy, but it's still good, all good. Welcome to Monday. Oh gosh, I can't look that way. I'm squinting far too much. Um, I don't know if you remember, if you've been with me for a while, you probably do remember that we, we bought a new suite. We got it at a super, super, super amazing bargain price, like £128 for the whole suite, brand new. Um, check out that video. I'll try and link it up above in the cards for you so that if you want to see why and how and from where we actually bought it from. Okay, so as a lot of you probably already know, we have dogs of our own. We also board dogs in our own home. Um, obviously at the moment, because of what's going on in the world, people just aren't able to go on holiday, which means we're not having any dogs boarding at the moment. However, I thought I would just share this with you because you know, if you've got a leather suite and you're worried about maybe, I don't know, buckles and buttons from jeans scratching the leather, whether you've got young children who play with their toys on your sofa and it may scratch the leather, um, pets like us with dogs or cats, you get scratches, you can get scratches, okay? We allow the dogs on our sofas, so that's just one thing we we just allow. So what do you do to get rid of the scratches? Okay, you can buy the expensive leather, care, creams, etc. for your sofas, for your chairs. But I find the best thing to use is olive oil. So what you have to do is you just pop your olive oil onto, well I, this is how I do it, okay? So this is my little disclaimer, this is how I do it. I'm not saying that this is how you should do it, and I'm certainly no professional, but it's just what works for us in our home. Um, so I just pop some olive oil onto the actual leather itself, and then I just work it in with some kitchen roll, and then I just leave it. Well, what I, to be fair, what I have to do is I have to cover it then with a throw. The only reason being is, I mean, obviously you don't go sit on it straight away or anything. You need to let it soak in. But the reason I cover it with the throat is because one of my little dogs, Teddy, will just try to lick it off. He loves it. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason why I cover it. Now, the last time I did it um, was probably a month ago. Um, and you will find, as the leather kind of dries out again, the scratch, you will see... Some of the scratches come back, although they don't seem to be as deep as they were. Um, but it is something that maybe once a month, just just go over your sofa, just go over your leather furniture, and it should, well it does with me, it just takes those scratches out and it just reconditions and puts lots of moisture back into the leather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like before I do it, whilst I'm doing it, and then I will show you the following, well, either a bit later on today or tomorrow, what it actually looks like, okay? Right, okay, so this is the cushion on the sofa. Uh, this is probably the worst one. I don't know if you can, yeah, I think you can see the scratches there okay, especially if I go like that. You can see them, right? And then there are some here as well. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the olive oil on here and start to work it in. Okay. Right, so I've got my olive oil here. Okay, can you see the olive oil? So I'm just going to pour some onto the cushion. I find this works better than if you tip it onto the tissue first. Okay, so, I mean, I've got leather wipes and things like that, but they literally just clean it. They don't nourish and feed it. So you literally just work and work. Keep working it in. And it just feeds this leather. It looks so much more healthy once you've finished as well. 
Because at the end of the day, leather is a skin. So if you don't want it to dry and to crack, then you really do need to look after the leather furniture. But as I say, we've always allowed our dogs and others to get on the furniture because when they come here on their holidays, when they're boarding, as far as we're concerned, it's home from home. I'm going to pop a little bit more on there. There we go. Right, now, what I'm going to do... As I said, I'm going to just leave that to soak in. I'll show you what it looks like now. Right, so this is what it's looking like now. Okay, you can still see the scratches, but they're not as dry looking, if you, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, but I'm going to leave that, and then when I come back to it, you'll see how much the scratches have actually disappeared. And I've actually done it before when there aren't any scratches at all left. You just cannot see them. But of course, as time goes on and the leather dries out again, then you do see the scratches again. So this is why you have to repeat it. Um, so I'm just gonna finish doing my sofa in the chair and I'll show you what it looks like a bit later. So as you can see, look, I've done the sofa and I've just covered it with a throw, um, just popped Obviously the little, and I've just put the little leather cushions that, that come with the suite on it with another cushion just to try to keep Teddy from nuzzling underneath and licking it all off. And uh, I've done the chair over here as well. But I'll come back and show you what it's like. Yeah, hi guys. So for dinner tonight, so we're now Monday. For dinner we have got bubble and squeak, which was leftover vegetables from the roast yesterday. Um, so I'm just cooking this, I'm frying it and a little bit of olive oil and butter so that it doesn't burn because they, they tend to sort of stop it from burning. Uh, obviously still keep your eye on it, so I need to turn this in a minute. Uh, we had roast pork yesterday, so with the remainder of the pork, I have made a sweet and sour pork. Normally we'd have this with rice, but because I've got all this bubble and squeak, we're going to have it served on a bed of, you're right, the veggies. I know it looks a little bit samey colour, but that's because the sweet and sour is sort of like a very similar colour to the bubble and uh, to the bubble and squeak. You know, normally you'd have it on rice, but yeah, waste not, want not. I think it looks really. I can't wait, can you? No, no, no. Okay, guys, so it's ten o'clock at night, and I thought I'd just show you what the cushion. Uh, the leather cushion looks like now you can see even if I go down really close that you can't really see any of the scratches there at all now so just working in that little bit of olive oil really does really work good morning everyone and it's Tuesday morning I've decided to put a bit of a face on today, not for any reason whatsoever. Um, just thought I would. So I'm just using these. These are Nivea, and they're the Nivea Gentle 
cleansing wipes and these have got um, almond oil in. I think I've shown them to you before. They're really nice, really, really nice. I don't have any makeup on to take off, but I have not long woken up. Um, had breakfast already today. We had cheese on toast. Lovely, I love a bit of cheese on toast. And it was on seeded bread. So yummy. That will do for that. Put those aside. I'm just going to like let that just dry a little bit. Then I'm just going to go in with, um, this is a serum, it's a double serum by Clarins. I've used a fair bit of this one. Um, I actually purchased it because I heard really excellent reviews. And it is, it is nice, it is a nice serum, but I don't think it does for me what it does seems to be doing for a lot of other people. I probably wouldn't buy it again. Not because I don't like it, but because it's not any different than some of the other cheaper ones I've had but it is nice don't get me wrong it's Chris morning <laughs> I mean it goes on beautifully I have to say it does it is lovely it feels lovely but I expected maybe too much I don't know and I'm just going to put on a little bit of eye cream so it's the Olay seven total effects one that are virtually all gone I really don't have a lot in here at all now I mean like you can see definitely definitely would repurchase this definitely and I remember I got it on offer because I think the normal price is around but in the UK anyway it's around about 14 15 pounds and I got it for say half price <coughs> that's seven pounds something this isn't a tutorial or anything like that, it's just like a little chat while I put the face on. Um, so today I'm going to get into the garden. It feels a little bit chillier now though, I have to say. Bloody yeah, I couldn't do it. Chris just said, bloody cruising. Um, it definitely does. It's been beautiful out. But, um, get all my clobber out. I'm going to be making a traditional school days jam sponge pudding with coconut on the top and then also for dinner I'm going to be doing another recipe um, which is all part, both of these are going to be part of my little mini series that I'm doing about um, you know eating frugally eating as we did back in the day certainly when I was a kid anyway so they're both going to be on there I will show them to you just as they're finished you know you can see the end result um, but I'm going to pop them onto two different videos I have recently um, I did a review a video doing a review of this doll 10 it's amazing I love it if I can I will pop it up in the cards there for you This goes a long way, it really does. I'm just going to get my mirror and I just like to just get in there with my, my fingers to do it. You can see already, just those little bits, look. It's really giving me good coverage. So that's the foundation which I absolutely love. I'm going to go in a little bit of the concealer, that is also amazing and I like the fact that it's just got this little um, sort of stainless steel foot to it, so it's really nice and cold under the eye, squeeze a little bit out and just dab, pop it in there where I get a little bit sort of ready blue in there, um, down there, down there, a little bit there, oops, a little bit there, and there, and then I've got, and I've really been noticing these lately, some quite big age spots, I know it's to be expected, 
Right, let's pat those in, shall we? Oh my goodness, I'll tell you what guys, after these 12 weeks or however long, you know, could be longer obviously, but once the um, quarantine isolation time is up, have I got a treat for you. Okay, I'll tell you what it is, but I'm not going to show you. So, I said to Chris, have you ever had a beard? Because I've never known him ever have a beard at all. He had a moustache once. Um, he's making coffee, if you, that's what you're hearing. He hasn't had a beard, so I said to him, oh, can you just grow one just so we can see what it's like? Um, so he said, yeah, all right then. So we said, we'll take a photograph, like, every week, just to show the progress. So, he started off cleanly shaven. Then he went a little bit George Michael-ish, stubble, which I loved. He's a little bit in the Onslow stage now. <laughs> but um, I'm waiting for that to pass, you know, and I'm waiting for Kenny Rogers to emerge. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, bless him, though. So, yeah, it's a lot quicker for him to have his showers and everything because he doesn't have to have a shave. Right, so I'm just going in with my eyebrows. I love this stuff. This is um, X NYX and it's in blonde. It's really, really, really good. And what it actually does is it actually sort of helps to tint your eyebrows. So really I should stick it on every day, which we don't, because I don't wear makeup every day. Would it have the same effect and tint my eyelashes? Can I have a go? Even if I just do the tips, the very tips. Because it's only the tips of my eyelashes that are fair, really fair. They are dark, but you know you can't really see them because, as I say, the ends are really, are really fair. I don't know what colour this is, guys, but it's a Dolce & Gabbana one, and that's Ooh. the colour there. Let's take a little bit on this brush. It isn't a contour brush. Let's see what we can do with it. a bit of bronzer. Right, so I'm just going to put some blusher on now. And I like to use this on my eyelids, actually. It's really nice. This is by, by Doll 10. And the colour is You're Making Me Blush. And it's so pretty. Really, really pretty. You can use it on your lips and everything. Just like that. Um, so now I'm going to use these eyelash colours. This is the doll turn that it went with the set that I got. Love that brush. Um, when I actually did the review of this doll 10 makeup, I did give you a little tip to look down when you're putting the mascara on your top lashes because if you're looking up and you're going like that, it's quite easy to get it up and get the mascara on your, um, the top of your, you know, your eyelids. But if you look down, you don't. And then when you do your bottom lashes, I tend to look up then. Because if you're looking up, you tend to not really get it on, sort of under your eyes. The older I become, I've noticed that the waterline in your eye, really, especially the top lid, I need to fill it. 
so I just go in with a with the pencil and it gives you the effect that you've got mascara on even though you haven't and especially if you um let me get in a little bit closer especially if you get in between those lashes and you like work it underneath but in between the lashes and then if you want to you can put a little bit on the bottom which i will i don't like to go in too heavy at the bottom Okay, now I'm just going to go back in with this blush that I've used on my eyes and just pop it onto the apple of my cheeks. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so nice. This is actually a kit I would really like to buy again. So nice. But then, Every time they bring out something new, you want that as well. It's just such a pretty, pretty feminine, you know, just the little, that little blush that you get sometimes. You've been made to blush. Okay, so I'm just going to pop in a little bit of lip liner. Um, this is by... Matte colour saw, as in S O A R, not not saw, <laughs> but saw. <laughs> And this is the Dolce lipstick that also came in the set. And it's in colour Throwing Kisses. And that's what it looks like in the bullet. Again, it's absolutely lovely. It's just so creamy. <laughs> creamy. <laughs> And then what I might do, I might just pop a little bit of lip gloss over the top. This is by Iconic. And it's just, although it's a very pale pink look, it doesn't actually give an awful lot of colour on the lip. So if you're wearing it on its own, you just really get like a nice sheen to your lip. Um, or just over any colour lipstick, it's really, really nice. So, all I need to do now is to brush my hair, which I haven't done, but I'll brush that in a minute. Um, and this is just my makeup look for the day, just because, no reason other than just because. See you in a minute. Daddy's little helper. Mm. How you feel, Daddy's little helper? So we've had another another turnaround of furniture, shall we say? You know what I'm like. I'm always wanting to change it around. So kitchen dining room has now been changed again. So if I do it as if we were coming in from the lounge. So this is the lounge, and that's the hallway. So you come in. And what we had before, we had the dining table here, along here. We had the island over there. We have put the table and chairs here. And then the island is here. Um, I just think it looks really nice. I wanted somewhere I could um, put my, oh, excuse me, put my tripod up. Um, so I'm going to put it this side. Got lots of natural light flooding in. Perfect for filming. Um, we're going to get a couple more bar stools now and pop them this side so that when people are eating from here, do, 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 
there looking down like that um that's there move the craft stuff Elsie's a little cold chick today aren't you babes so you've been out camouflaged because we didn't want people to know that you were out so you camouflaged um put the plant there oh i did that the other day and guess what oh so cute we've just had gospel lifeguards out and they've delivered all my medicines look how cute is that a lifeguard has saved my life how cute look look how sweet is that um let me just show you what i've done with the crafting bits hello dead 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 dudes so they're here now under here i think they're really nice so i am a sight of loveliness with mascara under my eyes just because i've been rubbing my eyes because we've been up since i don't know quite early and we kind of cracked on with this quite early um so yeah just been rubbing my eyes i'm tired but I'm going to end my vlog here. As I said, I didn't want it to drag on for too long. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, then please, as always, give it a lovely, great big thumbs up. Smash the notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Until then, my lovely, stay safe and stay inside. Bye.